Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you could use Mail Merge in Microsoft Word to send out customized envelopes. And as full disclosure before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. So first off, why would you possibly wanna use Mail Merge to customize envelopes? Well, imagine that you need to send out letters to maybe 50 people. What you could do is you could go through, you could set up in Word, you could create your envelope, and you could go through one by one. You could paste in the name, the address, the city, the state, the zip code, all the address information, and you could go through one by one, enter it in, print it out, enter it in, print it out. But that's gonna take a long time. If you're doing five, 10 envelopes, sure, why not? Go ahead and do that. But let's say now you're doing like 100 or maybe 500 or maybe even 1,000 envelopes. The last thing you wanna do is go through one by one and have to create envelopes. This is where Mail Merge comes in and it can help you. Basically what you could do with Mail Merge is if you have a list of all of your addresses that you wanna you know, put on an envelope, you could have Word go through using Mail Merge and it'll automate that whole task for you. It'll just go ahead, insert all the addresses and print out all the envelopes for you. So all you really have to do is get things set up and then you're good to go. Sound great? Well, it's actually really easy to do and today I'm gonna walk you through step by step how you do that. So let's, let's go ahead and jump on the PC. Here I am on my desktop and I have Microsoft Word uh, that comes with Office 365. This is the latest and greatest. But if you have 2019, 2016, 2013, or any older version, Mail Merge has been around for a little while and you should be able to do this. So what we're gonna do, the first thing is let's click on a blank document and we're gonna land in the blank document and the secret to doing a Mail Merge is to clicking on this Mailings Pivot on top. So let's go ahead and click on Mailings. And the easiest way to do this is to use the Mail Merge Wizard. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Start Mail Merge. And you know you have a lot of options up here, but what we wanna to do today is we wanna jump into the wizard. So I'm gonna go ahead and click in the wizard. And what I wanna do first though is I wanna show you the data that I'm using. So I'm gonna open up this Excel spreadsheet and it's a pretty standard list of, you know, I have a bunch of names, street addresses, I have the cities people live in, the states, and the zip codes. And yes, this is all made up data, so don't, if you try sending mail to these people, it's not gonna go anywhere because they're all made up. Um, but imagine I had to go through one by one and type all of these into an envelope. That would be very, very painful and we wanna avoid that. Okay, so that's what my data looks like. Back to Word here. And what you'll see is within this mail merge wizard, it says, what type of document are you working on? Well, today we're working on an envelope. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and let's click on next. So starting a document, change document layout. Sure, let's do that and it says envelope options. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and this is where we select the type of envelope that we're using. And so here I could go through and you know you could choose what envelope size you have, what the dimensions are. And so I'm just gonna go with size nine. That seems like a fairly common uh, layout for an envelope and we're gonna click on okay. So, I've, so now you'll see that the page has adjusted to the envelope dimensions that I chose. So that all looks great. Now let's click on select recipients. And so I have a few options. I could use an existing list. I could you know, select contacts from Outlook, or even I could type a new list. But in this case, I have my Excel sheet, so I'm gonna go ahead and just click on Browse. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna navigate to the Excel sheet on my computer. So I have this Mail Merge uh, Address Labels Excel spreadsheet, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, and let's open it up. And so what it has is within the Excel sheet, if I open that up, it, there's the worksheet is Sheet 1. And so there it's sheet one, and it asks me, uh, does the first row of data contain column headers? And yes, it does. So I'm gonna make sure that's checked and all looks good, so I'll click on okay. And so here I could go through, I see all my uh, contacts from my Excel sheet. And what's nice is I could go through and I could uncheck certain people if I don't wanna send it to them, or I could sort, I could even filter. A filter is really nice. Let's say, for example, I only wanna send it to people who um, live in New Jersey. And then maybe even I wanna say something like who live in a certain city and so on and so forth. But in this case, I just wanna send it to everyone, so I'm gonna click on cancel. I could also find duplicates. Um, I could find the specific recipient or I could even validate addresses. So pretty rich functionality here. But like I said, I just wanna send it to everyone, so looks good, let's click on okay. Um, so I've gone through and now let's arrange my envelope. So what I could do here is uh, on my envelope, I'm gonna type in my address. Um, so actually, let's start with my name, Kevin Stratford, and then we're gonna type in my street number, just in case any of you wanna visit me. This is my actual address. Actually, I'm just kidding, it is not. This is not my address at all. 
Um, so I've typed in my address, and now what I could do is this is where I enter where I'm sending it to. And so what uh, Word has done is they look at my Excel data, and they basically figured out that, wow, the data you have in there forms an address. So I could just insert an address block. And here I could sample or preview what it looks like. And that actually looks great, so I'm gonna click on OK. What I could also do is if I didn't wanna use the address block, I could even go through and just insert the pieces of information uh, just manually. But you know they've done a good job with address blocks, so no need to do that. Um, so that looks good. Now I'm going to click on Preview Your Envelopes. Uh, so here's a preview now. I, you know, I, I click through the wizard, but if I also click on Preview Results, I could see it up here. And so I could go through each of my recipients and see what the envelope looks like. And so this looks pretty good. I could, you know, find a specific recipient. I can make changes if I want to. But all of this looks great. You know, it looks like a good envelope. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and click on Complete the Merge. And what I could do now is I could click on Print. So let's click on Print. And I could print all of them, but I have 52 of them, so there, there's a lot of stuff to print. So maybe I'll just print the current one just to show you what it looks like. So I'll go ahead and click on the current record, and then I'll click on OK. And I'm just going to print a PDF uh, just for this example, so click on OK. And so let's, uh, let's just give it the descriptive name test3, and I'll go ahead and save it. And so now if I, I'm going to go ahead and minimize Word for a moment, and minimize Excel, and let's click into test3 to see what this looks like. Um, so here it is. Here's my envelope that would have printed. And uh, so it has my uh, my address up here and then Bob Jones's address. And if you went through and printed all the records, it would go through and you would have, uh, you know, 52 envelopes or however many envelopes you want to print out. Uh, but the really nice thing is Word would just insert each address uh, into your envelope. And so there's no kind of manual copy and pasting into an envelope uh, in bulk. So it really simplifies life quite a bit. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully this uh, showed you how to use Mail Merge to customize envelopes. Uh, if it did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, I do a lot of tutorial, how-to uh, videos to help you learn how to use different software products. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you have any other video ideas or anything else you want me to cover in the future, uh, please leave a comment down below. I read them and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. And hey, that's all I had for you today. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.